For decades, robots have been a growing presence in American warehouses, prompting concerns that a robotic age could soon lead to the loss of millions of logistics jobs and the obsolescence of human capital. But in some warehouses and labs, companies are testing robots that operate alongside workers, supplementing human capital as workers struggle to keep pace with exploding online orders. We look at the automation as, as augmenting and enhancing the productivity of the workers, allowing us to grow, hire more people, create more jobs, allowing our brands to grow and create more jobs, hire people. With e-commerce revenues up 70% from 2012 levels to $390 billion last year, labor shortages are the norm and wages are rising. Companies like Massachusetts-based Quiet Logistics say robots help them fill the labor gap. Many companies today are challenged with, with getting labor both to handle the growth and also to handle seasonal peaks. And with, and with robotics, we enable them to sort of meet that demand. Since 2009, Quiet Logistics has used Kiva robots to move orders quickly, bringing items to human pickers who load them into bins for packaging. And in the customized world of e-commerce, a single worker might pick hundreds of different items every day. But since Amazon acquired Kiva in 2012, it's slowly discontinued support to companies like Quiet Logistics, forcing it to develop its own technology. That effort led to Locus Robotics, a separate firm that supplies Quiet with autonomous mobile robots. Locus says its robot works well with human pickers and can be deployed in existing warehouse layouts, unlike Kiva, which requires a costly reorganization. And then the whole question for us is how do we deploy a robot to be able to handle the, the parts of the work that the robot's good at doing and then have the people do the, the parts of the work that people are good at doing and to meld that all together into a solution. Now, Locust bots are already at work in a quiet logistics facility where they transport items from pickers to packaging, which means that for the moment, humans are still in the loop. Right now, it's collaborative in the sense that the robots know where to go and the humans actually do the pick. Eventually, arms will do the pick. Now, it's probably years away before we actually get there and warehouses have to be set up in a certain way to actually make that happen. Uh, but eventually, it may be there. But that day might not be far off if the team at Right Hand Robotics has anything to say about it. Right Hand Robotics is a company that is working to enable uh, e-commerce, the growth of e-commerce. And we do it by, by enabling robots to grasp things. Right Hand Robotics says their machine can pick thousands of different items. And just as important, it can use big data to learn how to pick more. In a demo set up for WSJ, the machine was able to pick up the producer's shoe and GoPro camera with no warning or setup time. The robot recognizes, has cameras, so it recognizes items. It has tactile sensors. So for example, if there is a problem that it recognizes that the item is failed to pick, it actually go recovers and tries it again. Which raises the question, if robots can pick up items, will we still need robots that can collaborate with workers? Or will logistics enter an era of a dark warehouse devoid of any human production capacity? Uh, labor is always an implication whenever you're working on productivity problems. I don't know that we sit and think about that as much as uh, we're really just trying to figure out how to solve the problem. We can't find enough labor to do this work. It's very hard work. It's not very fun. So for us, we're just more involved in trying to solve the problem. And we'll be creating new jobs and changing the nature of jobs and offering opportunities to people. For the moment, those jobs are safe. But Right Hand is working with logistics companies, including the parent of Saks Fifth Avenue, and will have announcements in the next year. For us, this is a long-term um, business with long-term relationships with the people that, that grow within the company. A big part of who we are and what we deliver to our brands is passion, and that passion comes from people directly.